What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about if we should be worried that Hogwarts Legacy will drop the last-gen versions of the game. And this is a pretty easy answer for me, so I don't mean this to be misleading or clickbait literally in the slightest. I just want to talk about it because of Gotham Knights, because of other things we will discuss as this video goes on. But my answer is no. No, I don't think we should be worried. I don't think it's going to happen. Um, now, why do I bring it up? Well, you know, obviously you have... Uh, actually, let's start with not Gotham Knights, because the first game from Warner Bros. Uh, to do this is Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. So when this game was first announced, they actually made it very clear at the beginning that this game would only be a next-gen game. Uh, it was actually one of the things that people kind of looked to to say, all right, clearly Suicide Squad is going to be much later. It's coming out much later than Gotham Knights because one is coming out on everything, one is coming out only on the newest stuff. So you can, you know, just uh, just that kind of logic would mean Suicide uh, Squad comes out later. All right, so Suicide Squad was always just next gen. Now we had Gotham Knights dropping the last gen versions completely, right? They were going to do it. They announced it a few days ago, well, depending on when you guys see this video, that that is no longer the case. So October 25th, 2022, when the game comes out, it's only on PS5, Series S, X, PC. That's it. And, uh, and so... Okay, well, those are both Warner Bros. games. That's, I, I guess another reason why I bring it up is not only is it a pattern of both of these games only being on next gen, one dropping it late and one being very upfront about it, but they're both under the Warner Bros., I guess now Warner Bros. Discovery uh, umbrella, where Hogwarts Legacy is as well. Now, the reason I would not be worried about it is, well, number one, it still is, they still are their own thing. So although it is peculiar that they are all under the Warner Bros. umbrella. I think they operate independently, and I think they each have their own unique reason for not doing it, or I guess for only having it on next gen, right? So Hogwarts, I would think, honestly, would be the same. They have their own reason for why it is or why there isn't, and for them, it's why it is, why it is on last gen as well, okay? The the final thing, really the thing that, that puts me in a very safe category is the Nintendo Switch was added. Now, I am genuinely curious, truly, how well this game is going to run on the Switch. I mean, I, I know very, I know different games run at different, you know, qualities on the Switch overall. Uh, I think a game, to be honest with you, I think a game of Hogwarts Legacy scope is going to have a real tough time running on the Switch. That's just my personal opinion. So I don't necessarily know why it was added from that, uh, I guess, that viewpoint. However, I can see it from... Nintendo, huge audience. You can probably get millions of people just on the Switch alone to buy this game on the Switch. So I think it's a genius idea from a, you know, promoting your game, getting more money. I think it's it's an obvious thing to do. But that was not an original thing. That was not when they first announced the game. The Switch wasn't on there. So my reasoning is pretty simple. They not only stuck with the last time we saw the game at the State of Play... Not only did they stick with the, the consoles and systems that they said it was going to be on in the first place, but they added one. And they added one, and I don't know what you want to say about the Switch. I would technically consider this a Switch last gen, considering we're, we're probably going to get a new you know Nintendo system in the next couple of years. We are in PS5 Series SX, so that's not the same generation as the Switch. So I would consider it last gen, personally. And so you added one. You added a last gen version, or last gen system to your list. So I just... I've been very vocal, and uh, it's, I guess it's controversial. I guess not everybody likes my opinion, and that's okay. I think it's a low move, uh, a low blow for Warner Bros. Montreal to drop um, the last-gen versions of Gotham Knights. I have nothing wrong with games only being on next-gen. In fact, I would almost prefer Hogwarts Legacy, Gotham Knights, all these games to only be on next-gen. The issue to me is when you promise something and then you turn it back, right? You, you, you break your promise. And I guess there's debate of what a promise is in the gaming industry and you know what you consider a promise. But to me, when you say a game is coming out on XYZ and then you take out Y and now it's only coming out on X and Z, that's a problem. That's a problem because you didn't say that originally. Just be honest and upfront in the beginning. Again, everybody's got their own reasons for why they, they've done it or not done it. But for me, well, number one, it'd be a pretty low blow to quite a few people that I can tell you I've seen in comments if you suddenly told people, yeah, Hogwarts is not going to be available on PS4, Xbox One. I know there are at least hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of people just in my community that are getting the game on those systems, so they would be screwed. So just from a optics point of view, a public uh, you know perception, it's a bad look. And then again, to me, you add the Switch. That's not a thing you do when you're considering dropping them. Right. If you're considering drop, if you're like, ah, 
we don't know it's slowing us down working on ps4 xbox one hey i got an idea how about we add the nintendo switch to the list you, like you just don't those two things don't make any sense combined right so you know that's my opinion again this is not meant to be a, a doom and gloom or, or misleading or clickbait in any way i'm not worried about it to be flat out honest with you i trust them i trust that it's going to come out watch them <laughs> watch them prove me wrong now and, and 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 just blow up in my face but no i i personally think the game will be fine and it'll come out on on all the consoles now you can debate whether that helps or hurts the game in terms of how the game runs and, and all, you know all those different things that's up to you to debate but for me just it, it will i think uh, appear on all these consoles so let me know what you guys think make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel bell icon turn on so you know when all these videos go up if you want to follow me anywhere else all my social media is in the description below thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you all on the next video